Hey guys, welcome back. Um, I'm doing most things from bed nowadays. If you're new, I recently got surgery to fix a hip impingement. So whenever you get surgery on your hip or knees or anything that makes you have crutches, it's so important to have a support system and friends and family to help you because simple things like going up and down the stairs or going to get your cell phone from another room or going to get an ice pack are so difficult with crutches. But you don't always have that support system around 24 7 sometimes your family might be running errands or your husband doesn't love you enough to help you so you got to come up with creative ways to do things by yourself because you're a strong independent woman i filmed this whole thing by myself um, i took a lot of breaks and i'll probably need an ice pack but i did it so if you're interested in seeing some hacks I came up with to live independently while on crutches, keep watching. So first things first, if you live in a multi-story home like I do, it always feels like everything you could ever need is on the other floor. So those first couple days, I always had to have someone help me go up and down the stairs because I couldn't put any weight on this leg. But then after a couple days, I came up with a trick to go up and down the stairs without putting any weight on this leg. So to go down the stairs, we're gonna scooch on our butts. Put your crutches down beside you so you can pull them down with you. And then carefully put your injured leg out in front of you and squat down with your good leg. Then just scooch on down. <laughs> You probably won't be able to use your hip flexor at all the first few days, so just use your hands to lift up your bad leg and put it down on the next step, and then pull your crutches down as you go. And at the bottom of the stairs, just use your good leg to stand up. Then to go back up, you can either do that in reverse and just scooch backwards up the stairs, or you can use the rail and your crutches to walk up. Never use just your crutches to go up the stairs, you'll fall to your death but I combine both crutches under my one arm and it's really easy. And then you just grab the railing and grab it with a death grip and then put all your weight on the railing and the crutch and step up with your good leg and just do one step at a time like a little toddler. And then second, you can't carry anything around when you're using crutches because you don't have free hands. The first couple days, my room got so messy because people would bring me things and then I wouldn't be able to get up and throw it away or put it away because I need to use my hands for the crutches. So if you just wear pants with pockets, this is a game changer. You can keep your phone in there, trash, your pills, other stuff, whatever. Um, and if you don't have comfy pants with pockets, just use a fanny pack or another bag that you can attach to your body. And if you're like me and you're working remotely while you heal, you can use a backpack. I put it in the front, don't question me. And then just carry big items in there like a pouch, like your laptop. And then next, showering. I thought this would be so difficult and I would need help from my husband or a little shower seat but it's really easy to just stand on one leg and shower. So if you have to step over a tub to shower, just put all your weight on your crutches, step over with your good leg and put your crutches close by, and then use your hands to carefully lift over your bad leg. Then once you're in there, you can put all your weight on your good leg and use the bad leg for balance, and then do whatever you gotta do to shower, and you can just pivot around on that one leg. Um, never bring your crutches in the shower, you'll slip and die, um, but you can easily just balance on one leg. And then next, you'll be spending a lot of time in bed, especially those first couple days. It hurts to sit up, so you'll need to lie down a lot. If you're working from home like me, it can be hard to focus when you're sitting in bed. So getting a bed table is a great investment. It makes your workspace feel a little bit more professional and your computer won't get hot and hyperventilate from sitting on your lap. And a great thing about this table is that it can slant downwards. So if you are getting uncomfortable, you can lie down and still work effectively. Also, speaking of the bed, you'll definitely want a leg pillow. Even if you don't sleep on your side, you're supposed to keep your legs three inches apart. So a leg pillow will do that. If you do sleep on your side, this makes it so much more comfortable and the leg pillow straps onto your leg so it'll stay on throughout the night. So those are just a few of my tips and tricks for living independently after surgery. Um, please like and subscribe so you can stay up to date with my recovery. I'll post new videos every week-ish.
Okay, thanks. Bye.